Hi, YouTubers. It's Evan next to the video. So it's going to be a very important video. So a uh, very important video. I want to talk about something that's happening on YouTube right now and something that every YouTuber should be aware of. This has to do with the DMCA, Digital Millennium Copyright Act. And it's something that's already taken off on YouTube. And you've probably heard of it by this point, but I will rehash and basically explain to you guys what is happening because this is a pretty significant deal. So long story short, DMCA, which is Digital Millennium Copyright Act, has been in effect forever. So basically that's the right to take down pirated videos, music, movies, TV shows that people re-upload to YouTube, and that's the kind of crap. So that's been in effect for years, since the late 90s, early 2000s. It was a very, very, very powerful uh, law that passed that made it so uh, people can basically uh, take down, file a takedown notice on a video, and when the video is taken down, you get a strike on your account. If you're a repeat offender, you get permanently banned from YouTube or any other social media platform. That's been in effect for years. That's not what we're talking about here. We are talking about a change to the bill, which would basically make it a felony, yes, a felony, to actually... Um, you know, if you commit DMCA, which is basically uploading or streaming pirated music, particularly on YouTube or Twitch, you could be facing a felony charge and you could actually go to prison in real life. I am actually not kidding. I am actually not fucking kidding. This is a actual possibility. This could happen. This is potentially as bad or worse than COPPA. Because COPPA, it's just a civil lawsuit. It's a civil penalty. And as discussed many times before, COPPA is based on how much money you make. So um, you make $5, it's up to a $5 fine. You make up to $50,000, it's up to a $50,000 fine, so on, so on. But this bill, if it passes, it would make it a felony to, com to upload or stream any kind of... Uh, music or, you know, copyrighted music, uh, movies, TV shows, all that kind of crap, you know, and not only would your video be taken down, but you could be criminally prosecuted in federal court for doing this kind of crap on YouTube or Twitch. Now, I want to give my opinion, and I know the YouTube doomsday people are all over this shit already, so they are all over this crap already. So you will already see tons and tons and tons of videos from YouTube doomsday people saying the end is coming, the end game is coming, goodbye YouTube, goodbye internet. And I want to spend about, oh, maybe five minutes, 10 minutes talking about from both ends of the spectrum and hopefully calming some people down and hopefully you know, understanding why there are some supporters of this bill and why there are some non-supporters of this bill. So first off, this bill is very similar to the SOPA and PIPA bills back in 2012 and 2013, 2011. Those bills, like the Stop Online Pri Piracy Protection Act, whatever it's called, that kind of crap, you know, uh, very similar to those bills. Basically, it's the music companies, the film companies being pissed off and saying, listen, we're losing money to piracy. We want to hit piraters really hard. We want to hit them really hard in the ass and say, you know, we want to send a clear message that piracy is not tolerated. That's the whole idea behind it. And it's one senator in particular, I forget his name, the name, the name's not important, um, who's basically pushing this bill. And it's actually surprisingly passing through Congress pretty quickly. Now, I, I don't want to talk too much about politics because I don't get into that kind of bullshit on my channel, you know, but I will talk a little bit about politics here. So, um, for a rare change. Um, so first off, the politics perspective. I don't think it will pass, in my opinion, my personal opinion, because I think by the time it goes to the president's desk, it goes to the House, then the Senate, then it goes to the president's desk, by the time it's at the president's desk, uh, Joe Biden will be president. And uh, honestly, um, I don't think Biden will sign it because uh, Obama was against the SOPA bill back in 2012. And I don't think um, Biden would, would sign a similar bill. 
Um, Trump might sign it. Um, he's more into real punishment. I mean, I'm not getting too much into politics, but he's really, really into, pol into punishment. I mean, he's the one who revived the federal death penalty. And, you know, Trump may very well sign it if he had the power to, but I think by the time it gets to the president's desk for the president's signature, I think Biden will already be president and I think Obama strongly opposed the SOFA bill back in 2012, and I think Biden's going to do the same. He's not going to sign it because he agrees with Obama, So, which is basically, yes, piracy is bad, yes, piracy is a big, big no-no, but we're not going to send people to jail for, for a simple you know, streaming of music. Now, I want to talk about from their end of the spectrum what their basically their opinion is, why they're pushing this bill through Congress. And the answer is there's a lot of people, for a better word, on Twitch and YouTube who are clearly, clearly engaging in piracy. I mean, there's people on YouTube, on freaking YouTube, who upload like entire movies, uh, will upload an entire album, you know, entire Eminem album, entire Britney Spears, Spears album. That's just clear piracy. And that's what they're, they're really trying to stop. But So before you say these people are dicks, whatever, you know, before they say they're just complete jerks, they're just complete, you know, uh, politician BS, all that kind of BS, you know, uh, I want you to at least understand there are some people on Twitch, there are some people on YouTube, nice big ass YouTube, like the big ass cigar, who are just clearly, who really deserve not only to be taken down from YouTube, but they really, they really deserve to be sued because, or at least sued in a minimum, if not actually criminally prosecuted. There are people out there who deserve to be prosecuted because they are clearly engaging in piracy. There are people who will literally sit on Twitch, you know, sit on their ass like the big ass cigar and will stream an entire album from a Eminem album. They will just sit there playing their freaking video game, you know, and will sit and will stream an entire album. That's clear piracy. And that causes big music companies like RIAA, uh, other music companies, film companies, to lose significant money. I mean, film companies, music companies, they lose millions and millions and millions of dollars and billions of dollars every year to piracy. I mean, it's a big problem. For a better word, it's a big fucking problem. And that's why I want you to at least, before you judge these politicians, I want you to at least understand there are some people out there who are clearly engaging and not just fair use or just, you know, parody. There are people who are engaging clear, downright, goddamn piracy. I mean, for a better word, damn piracy. There's no other word for it. But I want to tell you guys, I'm against this bill myself. I don't agree with it. I think the punishment is way too harsh, um, like five years in prison and a $30,000 fine. That's way too harsh. And that's why I think when it gets to Biden's desk, he's not going to sign it. So uh, um, people can disagree with me. You're not into politics. That kind of BS, you know, uh, but I think he's not going to sign it. And also, you have to keep in mind, it's like... If it does pass, worst case scenario, worst effing case scenario, it does pass, this will be like COPPA, most likely, because COPPA has been in effect now for almost a year. This will most likely affect, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> this will most likely affect um, big, big time creators. If you are a channel that has a million subscribers and you purposely upload pirated content, yeah, clearly then you could definitely probably go to jail. But if you're somebody like me who had 3,000 subscribers who might have, okay, maybe one video that doesn't agree with them, you're not going to go to jail. It's like, you know, they're simply not going to have the resources, you know, the FBI or, you know, music police, you know, you know freaking music police are not going to have, you know, the time or the resources to catch people who have 1,000 subscribers or 500 subscribers who are streaming a little bit of copyrighted music. I mean, I would not encourage it. I'm not giving you effing legal advice, but I mean, it's like, how are they going to even enforce it? I mean, yeah, if you have a channel that has half a million subscribers and you want to fuck up your whole channel by, you know, streaming, you know, an entire Britney Spears album, go ahead, you know, ruin your channel, ruin your chances of becoming a YouTuber. And yeah, you probably will get prosecuted. But if you're a channel like me and you might have one video out of compliance by accident, I think it's very unlikely, not giving you legal advice, not giving you legal advice, I think it's very unlikely you'd ever get caught because... 
you're buried so deep in the deep sea of YouTube that, I mean, how is the authorities even gonna trace that? I mean, the only way they could trace it is if somebody filed a DMCA takedown notice against you, and then you know they prosecuted you through that. I mean, and there are t and there are thousands and thousands and millions of DMCA takedowns that are filed each day. And are they really going to have the time and the resources? I mean, think about the court system. I mean, I'm a paralegal. I'm a, a certified paralegal. It's like, how are they are they going to tie up the court system with you know? You know, every single day they bring, they haul in, you know, 500 freaking people to court, you know, for DMCA piracy. I mean, it's just not going to work. And that's why Biden's not going to sign it when he becomes president. I mean, Trump might sign it because Trump it just believes in raw punishment altogether. And that's why I didn't vote for Trump. You know, it's like, but... Biden's not going to sign it because it's going to clog up the court system. And honestly, nobody gets better in prison. Nobody, no human being gets better in the United States prison. We have the biggest prison population in the United States. It's a bloody nightmare. And I, that's why I personally don't think it, pa it will pass. I hope it doesn't pass. And I don't think it will pass. I mean, I wouldn't lose sleep over it. But I will tell you right now some words of advice from me, not legal advice purely general information, purely just general fun facts. Number one, don't use copyrighted music or don't use copyrighted material unless you own the material yourself or unless you have explicit permission yourself. That's the safest way to stay clear of trouble on YouTube. And there are plenty of sites that have royalty-free music, computer-generated music, plenty of sites you know, YouTube has audio swap and they've had audio swap for years. If you want audio swap or royalty free music, you can use it that way. There's no reason to upload an entire Eminem album on YouTube. It's just pure freaking fucking piracy. So nope. And that's the easiest way to say our trouble is to purely use content that you, you own yourself, only yourself owns and yeah, it may be tempting to use music, but is it really worth getting in trouble? And YouTube has said from day one, this is the last thing I'll say is, YouTube has said from day one, you can get sued for uploading pirated content. And is it really worth it? I mean, I used you know, copyright content years and years ago, and I ended up getting a bunch of content IDs. I just deleted all that crap, all that kind of crap, you know, because it was just a waste of my time. Honestly, original, co original content is what makes YouTube great. Uh, original freaking content is what makes YouTube, YouTube. Anyway, that's the bottom line is easiest way to stay out of trouble. Don't use copyrighted content. Bottom freaking line. Anyway, I'll stop up, stop up my soapbox. Bye. Big ass of your life. Bye. Oh, and by the way, this won't affect my channel much. If you're wondering if it's gonna affect my channel on YouTube, um, it's not gonna really do any kind of crap to my channel because I have some videos that have audio swap, but I don't, I don't use any copyrighted material. So this won't affect my channel anyway. So if you're wondering, uh, you know, smoking SE will, will this affect your channel? It's not gonna do shit to my channel. So anyway, big ask your life, bye.